welcome back to TGTV. More specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a corner of South West London. This is a new venue for me that I'm filming in. I'm gonna be filming with my M3 and a few of my other cars in my collection. Now, a little bit of backstory to explain the surroundings that you've seen in the preceding B-roll. I'm actually at a place called the Classic Car Company. Many of you will know, and I'm sure actually all of you will know, otherwise you're lost, I've got far too many cars. It is a problem having that many cars. It's a first world problem, but nonetheless, it is a problem. Looking after them, storing them, getting them taken for services, keeping upkeep, keeping them charged, and all the rest of it, it's just a complete and utter nightmare. So I've recently enlisted the help of the classic car company, the place I'm at now, to sort a lot of that out. So I've got three or four spaces here that some of my collection will be sitting in, and they will be looking after three or four of my cars at a time. Now, we're currently at the point my M3 is here, also behind me, over there, my Defender is here. So I'm gonna be doing some cool stuff with the M3 today. I'm just gonna go and uh, give a little status update on the Defender anyway. I'm gonna stroll over here. My Defender has been in very good hands here with David and the team. It's here, sat on trickle charge. There's usually a cover over it, but I've taken the cover off. It's not been driven for some time, and actually the space that it was in didn't have a trickle charge. So I actually ended up having to get it towed here, and David came and sorted all of that stuff out. David is, of course, the guy from the Classic Car Company. He sorted that out and actually got the car taken here when it wasn't moving. And if you've ever tried to get a dead Defender out of an underground car park, you'll realise how much of a faff that would have been. So a huge kudos to getting this thing moving. It's now tickety-boo, right as rain, and the Defender is alive and well. But it's currently uh, basically kind of in storage here with, uh, with David and the team in their kind of a concierge service. So the Defender's here. The 912 will be making its way here very soon. And it will actually be having some work done here too. So there's a number of in-house services that can be called upon at any one time, uh, namely trimming, for example, which I'll, get, which I'll be enlisting for the 912 as well. So there'll be more and more. There's loads of bits around here. Some of these are kind of clients' cars, some of them are covered. But what we're all here to see is my BMW M3. Now, a bit of background on the M3 then. This has actually been here for about three days already. It has had paint correction done to it already. And what we're going to be doing today in this video is starting to apply some ceramic on top of the paint now that it's been corrected. The swirls have been taken out, the orange peel, the horrible orange peel that BMWs come with has somewhat been corrected. Now, David and the team here did offer me the choice to get completely rid of the orange peel or bring it back to kind of an acceptable level. The level at which it left the BMW factory was completely unacceptable and many of you that are into BMWs will know that. So I brought it back a little bit. It now looks absolutely incredible, but I haven't brought it back so much that it looks like every single panel's had a respray. It is true to the original finish, just a little bit of OEM plus, as I like to do on this channel. But I think you'll all agree, it looks absolutely incredible. I'm sure it's sort of not really coming up on the camera, but even the rear lights there, they have been machine polished. Everything has been de-swelled. It looks like new. Not only that, but they've got a number of tiny dents out of the car as well. It's literally like new. And what you can see here now, the wheels are off. And these are getting a full treatment as well. And these are getting a ceramic coating too. So the ceramic coating I'll be using on the car is ceramic coating you've seen on the channel before. I actually applied it to my Aston Martin Vantage V8. It's called Avalon King. So that will be going on. I'm going to be showing you in a second how to apply that. And that's actually something that I can do. Obviously, David and the team here, there is a detailing specialist and all sorts. But you can actually do it yourself. So rather worryingly, I'm going to have a little go at one of the panels. And then we're going to catch up when the car is completely done. And we're going to see the kind of the, the beading properties of the ceramic coating and the level of protection that it offers. So then, along with the boxes that you receive with your Avalon King ceramic kit, you also get very handily instructions. We are going to start actually a little bit down the road because we've got the pre-preparation methods here. The pre-preparation, luckily for you lot, has already been done. So we've got the optimal method here on the left, which is washing it, clay barring it to remove any contaminants, and then we polish it, and then you do an IPA wipe or you do the simple method, which is just wash and IPA wipe. That is presumably for paintwork that has been pre-prepped at some point in the past. This car has obviously been hugely pre-prepped. It couldn't have been pre-prepped any better. We're actually gonna move straight on to the application process. This is where I delve into the box and I get all the exciting goodies out and get applying the ceramic. And should you need assistance with the prepping, you actually get a kit from Avalon King with your ceramic kit as well. The wipe and wash kit here as well. So. Do not fret if you don't have those materials. That actually comes as part of the kit too. So this then is where the fun begins. You get your little ceramic bottle here. Here's one I prepared earlier. Here's your ceramic bottle. You get that out. And in your box here, you also get a little cloth 
we will need this cloth and you get your little sponge bar here. So what you do, as per the diagram, you wrap your black cloth tightly around the sponge, you put some drops of your ceramic coating, your shield here, you put that on the cloth, and then you start rubbing a thin layer across the car horizontally and then vertically to ensure an even application. So that is what you do. You basically crisscross all over the car, you let it sit for one to five minutes. So I advise doing panel by panel. Don't try and do the whole thing and then go back around it. Do one panel at a time and then you go back and buff the coating off. So what we're going to do then, I'm going to do one panel. I'm going to start on one panel now. And then after that, we're going to catch up with the finished article. Right then, time to drop it on. To get that dropped on. A few drops on there. Lovely stuff. And then, and then we work to start rubbing it on first horizontally and then vertically. And now you do this over the whole panel. So I'm gonna do that, this whole wing here. Make sure I'm doing an even application all over. And I'll continue with that, doing this whole wing, dropping on accordingly, leaving it to set for one to five minutes, then going and buffing it off. Little tip too, when you're doing it, make sure that little cap on the bottle is closed before you go around and start applying to the car. Leave it open as little time as possible. So if you guys want to ceramic your cars at home, I will leave a very special offer on the screen and below with a special link and a special code exclusive to you guys only with Avalon King. Make sure you get involved. That's a limited time offer only. And that is now available as of the point that this video goes live. Go, go, go. So that panel now done, we will go around and do the rest of the car. By the magic of the internet, you guys don't have to sit through that. So catch up with me in a day or so when it is all done. By the way, everyone, Chris is here. He's here. He's been watching on. And he's uh, so simple, he, even he could probably do it. Although maybe not, because he's just done, a, just done a poo on the floor, haven't you? Yes, you have. Good morning, good morning. And by the power of the internet, I am now back with the M3 several days later with the finished article behind me with the cover here at the Classic Car Company. Bit of branding there on the mug. So the car is now done. It's been here for a couple of days after we last saw it and it's had the ceramic coating by Avalon King finished off. I did a lot of it, but I must admit I cheated and I got the guys here to help me with it because I had to rush off. So without further ado, without further waffling, let's get the cover off this car and take a look at what has been done to it. I'm so excited to see it. It's had some paint. It's obviously had the ceramic coating done. It's had the paint corrected as well. It's had the interior redone. I'm, I just can't wait. So without further waffle then, let's get the covers off. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go then. Wow. Now having seen this car brand new, I can actually vouch for the fact it looks better than brand new. Thank you very much chaps. It's absolutely incredible. A little bit emotional actually and obviously it's got the original plate from brand new on there as well. So we're going to start then by going through exactly what this has had done. When the car arrived here originally it was in a bit of a state. It's obviously a 63 plate so it's about seven years old and it was used by someone that wasn't kind of a car enthusiast. They just kind of left it and kind of ran with it and there was a few scrapes on it and whatever. Just kind of a daily use car. However when it got booked in here there's a check-in sheet and they went through absolutely everything on the car even paint depths. I'll put that on the screen now. And that's what you get when you put your car in, in at the classic car company. Even to the extent, as I say, they went round all the paint debts on the car so they know exactly what they can and can't do in terms of machine polishing, different compounds, and all the rest of it. I've never seen that before. Really, really thorough. So, it's fully checked in. And then I was asked what I kind of wanted to go for. I said, as I always do with my cars, I want OEM plus. So the kind of the original ethos and the original kind of finish of the car just enhanced. But what they've done has actually blown my mind to be honest. I must admit, I've cheated. I came in here last night and I've seen the car already. So if I don't sound that shocked, it's because I've already seen it. So what has happened? The car has been machined to the point where all the orange peel in the paint has all but gone bar kind of the original kind of orange peely vibe that comes with it. Now, they could have put this paint back to complete glass, which actually isn't correct. 
for this car. It's not a finish this car ever came with. So you'll notice there's a little bit of orange peel in there, a tiny, tiny bit. But that is kind of just slightly better than it was brand new, not this kind of weird mirror finish that doesn't belong on this car. Everyone that knows BMWs and enthusiasts know that actually that's kind of a character of the car and I did not want to remove that. Before all of that though, there was actually a huge process which we're about to go into. Before all of the, before the machine could take place, there was actually a huge process to go through. I'll just note as well, there was paint needed on this rear quarter. Quite a substantial piece of paint actually. There was a lot of damage on this corner. It went through, it took all the paint off. I'll put pictures on the screen now so you can see that. But the damage actually continued all along here and there was some more damage up there. It wasn't huge, but it did need paint the whole of this and actually the whole bumper has come off as well. I'll put pictures on the screen as well. That has been beautifully blended as well. You wouldn't actually know that has been done. Absolutely amazing. Obviously things like the lights have been machine polished as well. They literally look brand new. Absolutely unbelievable. And everything about the car is literally like brand new. I'm feeling a little bit emotional here. So then to get a car looking like this, there's actually so many stages to it. When the car first arrived, obviously it got checked in. The strategy stage was done, the check-in sheet, and then they apply the uh, decontaminant remover, uh, the fallout remover. So that is basically something that goes around the whole thing and removes iron and all the rest of it. You can't even clay the car before you do that. So that was stage one. They then clayed the car. That takes all the things that have bonded to the paint off the car and that's if you've ever played a car it's actually really really satisfying um, but that was done all over that is a really painstaking process in itself and then they went on to uh, the machine polishing that is a five stage process as well they went around the car five times uh, with various compounds with one of those rotary machine polishers which is a, again another painstaking process and then only then can you start to apply protectant to the paint once it's kind of been taken down and back to an amazing, amazing finish. So the, then we put the Avalon King ceramic coating on the car. And I'm actually gonna do a little demo and show you what ceramic does to the car and why it's so cool. Um, show it's uh, aquaphobic properties. I'll pour a little bit of water on the car, throw it on there and you can see actually what it does. But I'm, I'm blown away. Not only did they do the paintwork, they actually took the wheels off as well. Those have been taken right back they had never been off the car and cleaned before, so they were complete state. And Steve here has done an amazing, amazing job. Even the backs of the wheels, he's taken those right back. You can actually eat your dinner off the back of the wheel. How he's got sort of seven years of kind of daily use of uh, brake dust and whatnot off the back of the wheels, I will never know. But they've actually been ceramic as well. So those will now be really, really easy to clean. Um, and he's done an incredible, incredible job of those. He's also done the shuts, all the suspension, everything underneath, it's all been completely deep cleaned. And that goes to the engine bay as well. So it's literally like better than new. It's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. We'll get the engine bay open as well after I've given you the little ceramic demo, but I couldn't be happy with it. I really couldn't. Um, yeah, absolutely phenomenal job. So it's well worth, if you get a car like this or, you know, Carrera 4S, something that's, you know, 10, 15 years old, particularly, you can achieve serious, serious value out of taking it somewhere like this. Give them a shout when you've bought something anyway and let them know what you've got and they'll get it booked in, get it kind of assessed and then give you your options. Um, but it's the best money I've ever spent on a car. It's literally transformed it. It's taken it from something that was you know, a little bit tired, which I still love, to something that's absolutely phenomenal. So inside the car then, I don't know, it's open. Ah, oh, it is, look at this. They've done a deep clean in here. Oh, it smells like new. And they've fed the leather. Importantly then, that's something I really don't like. They haven't like dressed up all the plastics and put this kind of like shiny uh, coating on it, which a lot of places will do, which I don't like at all. Uh, they'll kind of like dress all the um, plastics and whatnot. I really don't like that. But even the sill here, that looks new. That's absolutely mental. So yeah, really, really happy. And that's preserved the leather now for years to come. It's all kind of like fed up, uh, not fed up in the traditional sense, but fed in terms of it's all kind of hydrated again and ready to go. Really, really cool. Right, let's then lob some water on here and I'll show you the aquaphobic properties of Avalon King. So here's it, some uh, rain simulated here. But as you can see, it's literally just falling off. Now this doesn't only just look cool, there's actually some serious stuff behind this. So this obviously makes it easier to clean the car. The dirt does not bond to the paint anymore. All you need to do is just rinse it off and dirt literally just falls off the car. But that whole kind of beading thing will apply to the whole of the car now and obviously the wheels thanks to Avalon King. And not only that, but ceramic actually protects the paintwork as well. So you're less likely to get damage to the paint from kind of stone chips, little kind of car park skirmishes 
and things like that. So ceramic is very, very well worth doing. And in terms of not having to clean your car so much, there's also a serious side behind that as well. Every time you clean your car, you risk the chance of damaging the paint. With a ceramic coating like this, it means dirt just falls off it, the car doesn't get grimy, and you don't feel the need to take it to that rubbish car wash down the road who's gonna absolutely vandalize your paintwork. So it is really, really well worth doing, especially if you just spent a load of money kind of restoring the paint, it's well worth putting a protector on top, especially if you don't wanna spend sort of, you know, five, six grand on PPF, which is totally understandable that you don't. There is actually an argument for not putting PPF on some cars. For example, the front end of here, I could spend, you know, 1,500 quid, two grand doing the front of that car. To respray that bumper would be, you know, 700 quid, a grand anyway. So there's not really that much point if you, if you look at it like that. Also, the other thing as well, there are a couple of little stone chips here and there, tiny little ones. They've kind of gone over a few of those to make them look slightly more palatable. But again, they haven't absolutely removed everything. Um, I kind of wanted it looking authentic. I don't want it looking like it's had a shunt or it's never, ever been driven. I kind of want it to be an authentic vibe to the car. I know that probably sounds very weird, um, but I am a little bit odd, so that's fine. I've got huge plans for this car anyway. Uh, it's, I'm really excited to have it back. The number plate will now change back to what I changed it to. It's going for an exhaust next week. It's getting some carbon at the front and I still need to decide what I wanna do carbon wise with that. I'm going to get the OEM BMW carbon mirror caps just as I did back in 2013, 2014. And I will also be getting a rear uh, carbon deck lid on the car too. In terms of carbon diffuser, I might not do that. I quite like the lines of the car under there. I think it does need a little lip there and that is obviously what I had on the car uh, when I was younger too. But overall, I'm absolutely amazed with how this has come out and I'm just so grateful for the guys here at the Classic Car Company. My Defender is still sat over there. But yeah, if you want this sort of thing done to your car, do give them a shout. They are based in Southwest London, so a bit of a drive for me, but well, well worth it. They're based kind of um, Tooting Way, Ballon Way, uh, Wandsworth, if you know any of those areas. Um, so yeah, do give them a shout. Really cool guys. Uh, ask for David. He's in the back there. He didn't want to be on camera, but I'm, I'm trolling him. There he is. He'll watch this back and realize he's been trolled. But yes, I will be arranging some drives as well with this car on the road strap. So if you're not following me on the road strap, do make sure you get involved in there. And of course, if you want to ceramic your car, Avalon King site details are below. Use code TGE25 for a special discount on that. Look at this. Just finally then, before I go, I wanna show you the engine bay. Tell me that doesn't look like a brand new car. That doesn't look like it's even been driven. One thing you gotta watch out for, and this is what uh, Steve told me, wanna watch out for down here, leaves getting stuck down there and getting mulched over time. Look out for those because that can cause water overflow into the bulkhead and various other things that you don't want water accumulating in. But look at the state of it in here. It's literally brand new. Look at it. They've honestly performed a miracle with this car here. I'm so, so happy with it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Everything's literally like new. It's crazy and obviously that is a V8 there. The only production road M3 with a V8 in it. Big old boy there. I think then on that note, it's time to get the bonnet down. And that, I was gonna say take it for a drive, but it's actually not. I am storing the car here for the time being here at the Classic Car Company. So if you are interested in getting your car uh, detailed and whatnot, then do give them a shout. If you're interested in their kind of storage and concierge service, uh, which is actually they do for me, which is basically storing my cars, and then if they need servicing or whatever, then they will sort all of that out for me. I'm a very busy bee and they make my life just that little bit easier. So a huge shout to the guys here, and of course a huge shout to Avalon King. My car is now silky smooth, protected, hydrophobic, and ready to take on the elements. If you use the code TGE25 and hit the link below, you will get a special discount on that, on your ceramic kit. Well, well worth doing, so do check that out. For now though, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, thumbs up, blah, blah, blah. And I wanna see if you've got an E90 M3 as well, whether or not it's the E92, E93, or the E90 um, four-door, I wanna see it. And I'm gonna be arranging, as I say, drives on the road to app to go out with our V8 M3s and go hooning as well. So do stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. See you all soon, bye.
Just us, just us. Say we believe. 